Hello. I'm going to be talking a little bit about the two webinars we'll be doing in December. And we'll be seeing a number of cases, uh, fish, mollusks, and spiders. And for me, the basic feeling in an animal case is that someone or something is doing something to me. And you know that that person or that thing or that entity, whatever it is, is my problem. And I have to fight that thing, run away from it, or deal with it in some way or another, and then I'll be okay. So it can be one's life situation, people in it, or it could be that the illness is perceived as some entity, you know, which is attacking you, harming you, or life just being a struggle. And of course, depending on the family that the remedy comes from, there'll be subtle differences in how this entity is perceived or how this struggle is perceived. So we'll be looking at mollusks some mollusk cases. And if it's a mollusk that lives in a shell, like a, a gastropod or a bivalve, the feeling is, well, if I go into my shell, I'll be safe. But then I'm cut off from the world and disconnected from people. And that's not good either. But if it's a cephalopod, like a squid or an octopus or a cuttlefish, you know, these are jet-propelled creatures that swim fast. So their feeling is they want to be moving, they want to be achieving, they want to be pushing through, and this is the sort of gesture you get, but that something is blocking them, holding them back, an obstacle. Fish are, are subtly different, and they again, you know, have a sense of wanting to push through the water, and shark cases in, a special, in particular, you know, these creatures don't have external gills like bony fish. They have internal gills. They need to keep moving all the time in order to oxygenate their blood. If you look at the cases of tiger shark, the main feeling I have seen is this impatience, this need to constantly be moving forwards and a kind of fear of not reaching their destination. And we'd be looking at fish cases and, and studying the, the gestures and body language and sensations and expressions. And they're very interesting. Then with spiders, you know, the feeling is a kind of inner agitation and restlessness, which makes them really need to move and try to achieve their goals. But again, a feeling that someone is manipulating them, dominating them, holding them back. The other idea that I have found very helpful in my practice in recent years is the idea of heaven and hell in the cases. And patients come to us with their hell, don't they? You know, with their pain, their suffering, their life situation. And very often if we can define what their heaven is, it really helps to find a good remedy. So with these watery creatures, very often it's to do with the water, their heaven. It can be, oh, I just love being held by the water, being rocked, just floating. Or when I'm swimming, I'm in heaven, they can say. Or when I'm underwater, with my aqualung, I can breathe better than I can over the water. It's the only time my mind is calm. This kind of thing. And it's all, it can almost be a kind of state of euphoria and ecstasy. Or describing pushing through the water. And this can be very helpful and a number of our cases will actually, you know, use these words, heaven and hell. So I think that sums up what we'll be doing in the webinar and uh, I hope you'll be able to join us.